Eating out at restaurants is always fun and takes the pressure off making dinner, but it's not always the healthiest. That's where all of Garden's new taste of the Mediterranean dishes have come to save the day. Joining us today is Sheila. Sheila, we've got some different varieties right here, but the biggest thing that I see right now is no pasta in front of me. That's right. We are going to use our zoodles, which is a take on a zucchini noodle. It replaces the pasta. Okay? It's like spiralized zucchini noodles. All right, let's get started okay. making the dish then. Yep, we're going to do our zoodles primavera today. So we're going to start off with a little bit of olive oil in the skillet. And we preheated this, so about a tablespoon of olive oil. To that, we're going to add some red peppers and mushrooms. So it looks okay. like those peppers are seasoned a little bit already. Um, we roast those. Okay. It helps in the cooking process a little bit, so they're a little bit quicker to get done. Um, after that cooks for about a minute, then we're going to add our seasoned tomatoes. We season these with Italian herbs. I was going to say, we're starting to get sizzling here a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Some carrots. And... Blanched broccoli. Of course, and gotta add a little it green in there. <laughs> pre cooked a little bit. Well, we're gonna have a lot of green with those zoodles, too. So that takes about a couple minutes to cook. And then we'll add our, yeah, and then we'll add our smell. primavera sauce. Like vegetables. <laughs> smells like vegetables. <laughs> it smells better than just vegetables, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, garlic yeah. in there and some herbs. So, what is in the primavera sauce? It's a cream based sauce with um, white wine. Uh, vegetable broth and pesto. So it's got a light, fresh flavor. We'll go ahead and add this to the dish. Yum. So, what would you say? I mean, obviously, you can understand this is a very healthy dish, but what should people do as they head out in the winter months? What are some, some key things to look for to make sure they are eating healthy when they're eating out? Um, well, on all of the menus now, there's calorie content. So, that kind of helps out the consumer. So, there's no surprises when you know they're ordering different dishes so just do a little research right we haven't added the zoodles yet but no. my biggest question is how do we get to this point and what's the easiest way to do that if you decide to make your own zoodles well you could get a spiralizer if you'd like and do it at home however a lot of grocery stores sell it like this now so it takes the work out of it for you yes all right okay that, that looks delicious. like it's bubbling a little bit there <laughs> so we'll go ahead and add the zoodles Are you guys hungry? Uh, always. <laughs> <laughs> now I can't help but wonder, uh, we do have some other options here that aren't the zoodles. Um, we are running out of a little time, so I want to hit sure. those. So we have some chicken, it looks like, with a side of zoodles. Right. This is our margarita chicken. It's two chicken breasts topped with uh, cheese and pesto. It's, um, it's got the margarita uh, sauce with the tomatoes. The zoodles, again, for the lower calorie, these are all under 600 calories. Uh -huh. This is a shrimp scampi. It's got some uh, tomatoes and asparagus, shrimp, and angel hair pasta, and the scampi sauce. And of course, even though if you are watching your weight, you are, you have to have a breadstick. Yes. You can't go to Olive Garden without a breadstick. <laughs> Thank you so much, Sheila, for Thank stopping you. by. If you want to indulge in these healthy options, their hours are on your screen now. You can catch this interview again later today on Wayne.com.